corruption and the EU. <laughs> I'm shocked. Are you shocked? God, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe this for one second. Qatargate, two MEPs lose their immunity in corruption case. Two MEPs have had their legal immunity lifted by European lawmakers following a request by Belgian authorities investigating a corruption scandal that has rocked the European Parliament. Now, one thing that I learned from my short time when I was over there at the European, European Parliament, the one that's built and modelled after the Tower of Babel, do, do with that what you will, uh, I... Noticed a lot of stuff. Noticed a lot of things. And they're all corrupt. All of them. Every single one of them. They don't even uh, read the laws that they vote on. They don't even read it. Don't even read any of it. These people just like either lift their hand up or put their hand down and they haven't even read the shit that they're voting on. Right? Now, they're all corrupt. Now, the reason these guys are getting done for their corruption is they were probably doing their own little solo corruption and not the big, wide corruption that's part of the bigger picture that they're trying to push through. So that about, that'll be why these two guys got got. Uh, Italian Andrea Cosolino and Belgian uh, Mark Tarabella deny wrongdoing. The Qatargate affair unfolded when a Greek lawmaker and three other suspects were arrested on suspicion of corruption and money laundering. One of the suspects then agreed to tell all as part of a plea deal. Uh, Pierre Antonio Panzeri is alleged to have led a network that took bribes from Qatar and Morocco in return for influencing the European Parliament. Some 1.5 million euros was recovered in cash in a series of raids in Brussels and Italy. Now, see them uh, having their votes, but yeah, I, com I completely believe that. Like, for example... Like, see when it came to Article 13, it's not called Article 13 anymore, but I'm just going to still call it that because that's what people remember. Uh, they hadn't even read the bill, and you found out that these guys were all in bed with, like, records companies and fucking places like Shutterstock and movie companies and all that type of stuff. Yeah, they were bought. They were bought. But, I mean, that's that's nothing new. That is nothing new when it comes to the state. Like, everyone, like one of the things that people always point out is they're like... Uh, Oh, if everything was libertarian, then companies would just, like, run absolutely everything. They're going to buy the rain, uh, and all that stuff. Oh, okay, well, if that's the case and companies would then become God, then companies must obviously be pumping every single bit of money into libertarian parties and making libertarian parties the biggest, by far, parties in the history of their country. No, they're not doing that. As someone who's in a libertarian party... I can assure you that literally no companies are doing that because companies and big corporations need the referee for the game because the game is a lot easier for them to play if it looks like they're playing by the rules but they've actually given the referee a big stack of cash right before the game started. And if they, if under libertarian law where there is no state, fucking they don't have a referee. They're on their fucking own. They actually have to play the game like everybody else. So yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why, so see how all of these MEPs or even MPs or even congresswomen and senators and all that being bought off by corporations? That's, that's, that's no secret. That's no secret. Happens all the time, constantly. Right now, while you're watching this video, there'll be a bunch of suits in a room making an agreement over exactly that. It's just... <sighs> democracy, isn't it wonderful? Uh However, prosecutors have said Mr. Panzeri has admitted criminal responsibility. Uh, Mr. Tarabella's home was raided last month when Belgian police detained the four suspects. Prosecutors then asked the parliament to lift his immunity from prosecution, as well as Mr. Cosolino's. Both men were members of the parliament's centre-left uh, socialists and democrats grouping. The votes happened with little ceremony on a matter of seconds when lawmakers began a session of the European Parliament on Thursday morning. MEPs simply raised their hands as the details were read out. Mark Tarabella attended the vote himself, making his way through a scrum of reporters as he headed into the chamber. Afterwards, he told me he had a, he had voted to waive his immunity in order to be able to respond to the investigators' questions and help authorities shed light on this affair. According to the Parliament uh, report on Mr Tarabella, he is suspected by investigators of backing certain positions within the European Parliament in favour of a third country in return for cash payments for two years. Uh, testimony against him suggests several payments totaling 120,000 to 140,000 euros, the report adds. Now that's the thing is, they have immunity. So see if what he did actually serve the European Parliament, they could have just went, no, let him keep his immunity because it helped us. 
Oh, he broke the law? Oh, that's fine. We can just go, nah, he didn't. <laughs> oh, isn't it great being in charge? Uh, of course I deny any wrong, he told the BBC. Asked if he had ever taken money to influence proceedings in the European Parliament. He said, never in my life. The Parliament's report on his Italian colleague cites investigators uh, alleging participation in a criminal organisation and money laundering. Mr Cosolino's lawyer said last month that he was innocent and that he had carried out political activity in a free and transparent way, having nothing to do with the crimes being investigated. He resigned last month as head of the Parliament's delegation that works with the Maghreb nations, including Morocco. Last month, prosecutors said Mr Panzeri, who is an Italian ex-MEP, had agreed to provide details about how the scandal worked and who was involved in return for a shorter sentence of a year in jail. He ran an NGO called Fight Impunity in Brussels. <laughs> Ironic. Uh, his wife and daughter were freed from house arrest last week as part of the plea deal. Three other suspects uh, remain in jail on suspicion of corruption and money laundering. Greek MEP uh, Eva Kelly was stripped of her role as one of the 14 v uh, vice presidents of the parliament last month, but denies involvement in the affair. Her partner, former parliamentary aide Francesco Giorgi, uh, is reported to have partly confessed to his alleged role. Uh, Nicolo Figatalamanca, who runs an NGO from the same building as Mr Panzeri, has also denied all knowledge of the scandal. Parliamentary immunity means that MEPs cannot be subject to any form of inquiry, detention or legal proceedings because of opinions expressed or votes cast in their capacity as an MEP, but it can be waived if requested by a national authority, which means that the EU still has the, has, still has the ability to turn around and go, well, no. Because, I mean, that happened in America. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but it was someone that worked for, it was a diplomat in America, they had, like, that diplomatic immunity. And they did a hit and run. They did a hit and run here in Britain. They knocked someone down, killed them, fled back to America, and America went, nah, sorry, they've got immunity. I'll need to double check on that case to see what happened with it. But yeah, essentially she like murdered someone and just went back to America and that was it. She was fine. I think at least that's where I last left the story. I don't know if there's been any developments or anything like that since then. But see this type of corruption that's happening, like... Uh, in the European Parliament. These guys were doing their own thing. They were just trying to fill their own pockets, as most people in the state often do. They don't care about the country, the people, the culture, or anything. They're just there to, like, fill their own pockets in the short time that they have their position. They don't give a fuck about the long-lasting damage that uh, their votes will do, just as long as they get rich in the meantime. That's how, that's how democracy works. That's how the state works. That's how government works. You know, sorry. It's just the way it is. Uh... Because these guys were doing a little solo op and just trying to do it for themselves, uh, that'll be why they're getting it. See, all over the European Union, you know, if you do similar things, but it benefits, you know, the glorious whole, the collective, the, the men behind the curtain, they won't care. Shit like that happens all the time. I've heard stuff. I've heard stuff from people, from people in the building, like when I was over there. And I was like, how, how bad is it here? And like one of the aides was like, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I don't know why we're not all in jail. You know? And I was like, wow, great. Cool. Fantastic. But yeah, you know, I don't think the European Union is going to last much longer anyway, though. I'm, I'm, I'm white-pilled. I'm, I'm very white-pilled recently. Yeah, I did a little Twitter detox, came off Twitter for a month, went out and talked to some people, found out their opinions. I'm finding that a lot finding it a lot harder to find people that are not at least moderately conservative or verging a little bit more to the right because a lot, you know, your average man in the street is starting to go, things are, things are getting a little bit bad, aren't they? And I'm like, yes, comrade, but they're going to get way worse.